fantastic anime live action movies that are really good. The true fans swear by the vivid detailing of stories in their manga version. While this is undoubtedly true, when a manga is adapted into an anime, the end results add more dimensions to the story. Elaborately animated fighting scenes, skillful voice acting, and soulful music transforms the content into something special. The history of live action movies, however, hasn't enjoyed the same success. The live action movies made in the USA are even worse. Those who appreciate rich anime content are connected with the characters. This character's cultural roots, background, struggles, and strengths are very close to our hearts, so for random westernization of the content when important characteristics are chopped off, crucial plotlines rewritten, fans are not really pleased. Despite the poor track record of live action anime movies, there are some that shine like stars in an otherwise dark sky. In this video, we will serve you some of the finest anime live action movies that deserve a wider audience. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, Please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Death Note 2006 A regular college student, Light Yagami, leads a normal life before he gets his hands on a magical notebook. If anyone's name was written in the notebook while imagining the person's face, then he or she would die. Yagami is drunk with his newfound powers and kills of many whom he doesn't deem fit for existence. A mysterious detective is trying his best to put an end to Yagami's horrible exercise of unbridled power. We wouldn't go into debate of whether or not the movie is better than the manga version. However, it certainly is a brilliant attempt with an intelligently written script and an appropriate cast. It is based on the popular manga written by Takeshi Obata and helped by the wonderful work of the CGI crew. This is sure to leave you spellbound. The battle of wits that takes place between Yagami and the detective is thrilling to watch. The plot sometimes deviates from the original stories as the characters Yagami and L meet in completely different ways in the movie than in the written version. As a live action version of the popular anime series, you must keep in mind that the movie is hard to explain to the western audience. Yet, the makers try hard and keep things as true to the original as possible. If you take a shine to DN Manga, this is going to be a wonderful watch. Old Boy 2003 Have you ever heard of a kidnapping last for over 15 long years? In the movie Old Boy, the protagonist Ode Su is held captive in solitary confinement for 15 years. All through this time, he is fed and clothed and kept alive for some reason, although his tormentor never shows his face. All of a sudden, he is released and soon finds out that he has to find the kidnapper within five days. Can Ode Su uncover the motive of his mysterious kidnapper and get his revenge? This is one of those films where you literally cannot close your mouth for the entire duration due to the sheer awesomeness and shock value. The casting for the movie is perfect, and the lead actor, Min Sik Choi, worked extremely hard for six weeks to lose around 20 pounds for this role. He even performed his own stunts and impressed with his acting skills. The action scenes are mind-boggling, but you must look beyond the violence and gimmicks to uncover the true mystifying essence of the movie. There are elements of surrealism that fascinate the viewers, and the overall theme that revenge destroys a person is intriguing. Park Chan-wook seals the deal with his directorial skills, and together with some nice soundtracks, this film is going to be remembered as an underrated classic. Hino <laughs> Yashiki 2018 don't you love it when the biggest underdog transforms into a superpower? In this case, the protagonist is an average old man who is ignored and disrespected by the world around him. When he learns that he has cancer and has a little time left, he is dejected. At this time, he encounters alien creatures and is gifted with superpowers and alien technology. It is time to prove everyone wrong and show his true worth. The fans of Gantz will see the obvious resemblance in the show. The animation is splendid, and the bigger the screen you watch it on, the better. The usage of CGI is a tad too much, but you can choose to ignore it in the face of the gripping storyline. Despite the generous dosage of gritty and brutal action scenes, you have some emotional moments as well. If you are too sensitive, then the elements of rape, drugs, and horrific deaths might be a little off-putting. 
The characters are deep and well sketched, and it is enhanced with some skillful acting. The bits where the hero and villain interact with people and their personalities clash will impress you. The climax is just perfect to sign off this well-made series. Giver Dark Hero 1994 This is one of those cases where the sequel is more appealing than the original movie. The Giver told the story of a young man who finds a mechanical device that syncs with his body and turns him into a cyborg. But soon he finds mysterious creatures trying to take back the device. He unravels the sinister plan where someone is trying to genetically engineer some fearsome monstrous beings. For this sequel, the protagonist looks to find the logical answer to why he received the ability to use the device. Following the trail of an archaeological survey, he comes across an old alien spacecraft that probably holds the key to all his questions. But a nasty surprise awaits him. The Kronos Corporation that he had defeated in the first movie is still after him. One of the first things that makes this a better movie than the first attempt is the fact that it stays true to the comic. Koichi Sakamoto directs some jaw-dropping fight scenes that appeal to the fans of the original manga. It will remind you of Power Rangers and their fighting style, but in a more brutal sort of way where eyeballs are blasted out and skulls are crushed. There are some cool creature effects that have been perfected by Steve Wang, who is also the co-director. The protagonist is explored where we get to see his dark side, his lack of friends, and how the device brings his violent side to the fore. When the first Giver movie received flack for being too goofy, the makers added some more action and horror for the sequel. The trick seems to have worked, as it definitely is a better work than its predecessor. Parasite 2014 Parasite tells the unnerving story of some ugly alien creatures that enter the hand of a teenage boy and take control. However, the senses in the boy are intact, and as he watches other infected bodies wreaking havoc, he decides to stand up against the forces. Hence begins the adventurous journey of the young boy, Aizumi Shinichi, who has to discover the truth and end the threat to humanity. During such adaptions, certain plot points are edited, and more often than not, the movie is messed up. But Parasite manages these changes very well, and even the use of special effects seems appropriate. The way the heads morphed into blades deserves special appreciation, as does the realistic looking eyes. A few minutes into the movie and you will be introduced to some bloody, gory, and disturbing moments, but they are all an integral part of the plot. The signs of some horrible bloodthirsty creatures feeding on human flesh is not for everyone to handle. There is a deep philosophy that human selfishness is self-destructive as everyone starts thinking about their own desires without worrying about others. The makers handled the climax well, but you might still be hoping for a sequel. Try out this unique movie and we guarantee that it will turn out much better than you expected. Your Lie in April 2016 Cute and emotional love stories have always caught the attention of the viewers. The case with Your Lie in April is no exception as people have loved the adorable storyline. It narrates the struggles of a talented piano player who suffered a traumatic experience of his mother's death. As a result, his confidence is shattered and he lost the ability to play in front of an audience. He meets a violin player who has her own secret problems to deal with but she bolsters his confidence and enables him to regain his lost art. Besides the emotional appeal, the movie has genuinely creative content. The unique take on a love story will keep you engrossed for the entire length of the movie. The musical expression of emotions will steal your heart, and the makers use some soothing classical music for this purpose. The subplot that deals with the girl's story is truly amazing, and for some, it might be more appealing than the love story brewing between the two. Do not judge it for being an anime to real life movie, because unlike most others, it manages to stay true to the plot. The choice of actors is perfect. The acting would leave you in tears for the ordeal that the characters go through. If you're willing to stray from the usual action-packed drama, you can enjoy this as a welcoming change. Shogun Assassin aka Lone Wolf and Cub 1980 the thrill derived from an action-packed revenge story is unparalleled. Shogun Assassin gives you a suspense-filled revenge drama where a samurai warrior served his shogun honorably. But with time, the shogun grew paranoid and sent ninjas to kill the warrior. 
They fail to kill him, but kill his wife instead. Now the warrior and his four-year-old son set out as mercenaries. The warrior is determined to avenge his wife's death, and he must prepare for a final battle with the Shogun's Masters of Death. The film is actually the re-released version of the edited and dubbed work from the first two Lone Wolf and Cub movies. The re-editing is done to suit the American audiences, and the film moves at a rapid pace. The action scenes will remind you of Kurosawa movies, only this is a lot more violent with blood everywhere. Shogun Assassin attained the status of a cult classic, and even the likes of Tarantino used its reference in the movie Kill Bill Volume 2. The USA banned this movie in 1983 courtesy of some disturbing graphic scenes and forms of sexuality that weren't quite socially acceptable back in the day. If you are a fan of glamorous sword fights and samurai films, then this movie will not disappoint you. Roni Kenshin, Samurai X, 2012 A former legendary assassin, Kenshin Himura, vows to not kill anymore, but his resolve is severely tested. Himura helps out people to atone for his past deeds, but he gets entangled with some murders that are connected to an opium ring. The people he cares about are threatened by the drug lord, and it is time for the skilled assassin to put his fighting prowess back on the table and stand for the right. Surprisingly enough, the multiple changes to the manga do not hamper the quality of this action-rich content. This features in our list of the best live-action adaptions of manga because the cast is perfect and the storytelling fluid. Some awesome fight scenes with real sword fights at lightning speed will keep you glued to your seats. The characters, particularly that of Hamura, are well portrayed with the skills and flaws on display. There is a cartoonish feel to the movie, but even then, it remains natural and appeals to the fans. Right from the beginning when the movie opens with a bloody battlefield in 1869, there is hardly a moment that allows a lapse in concentration. It might be over two hours, but the movie is worth all the time with the kind of entertainment on offer. <laughs> Ah! 